Hi students, welcome to lecture 56 on our aerospace engineering course. And today I'm going to discuss stick free static stability. So this is a follow on from our last lecture where we looked at the stick fixed condition. Today we are going to look at stick free from Dr. Ranjan Ganguly. Now let's start by looking at the horizontal tail. So as you remember, the horizontal tail is typically a symmetric airfoil section. So you have something like this. So this is the airfoil section for the tail in yellow. And now we are going to consider the elevator here, which I have shown in this orange color here. So what's going to happen is that this elevator typically has a hinge here. And therefore, if we consider a case when this entire setup is at zero angle with respect to the airflow, you are going to have a uniform flow here. The top and bottom pressure distributions are going to be symmetric as far as the elevator is concerned. And so you are going to get zero hinge moment in this particular situation. So this is a very clean flow situation and that we take as the baseline case. Now what we are going to do is we are going to part up this in two parts. We are first going to part up the tail section that is this yellow airfoil section here and then we are going to part up the elevator section and we are going to try to intuitively understand how the hinge moment will be impacted. So let us first part up the tail section. So here I have shown the tail here and what we have done is that we have moved this entire wing section by this angle alpha t which is the angle of attack of the tail so always remember of course in flight mechanics we are dealing with the absolute angle so these are with respect to the zero lift line so the horizontal and the zero lift line here so now what's going to happen is that there is going to be a pressure differential so there is going to be a lower pressure on top and there is going to be a higher pressure on bottom and therefore there is going to be a hinge moment which acts on this elevator section and we will call this hinge moment by the notation H subscript E that is capital H subscript E and it's likely to act in this direction here because there is higher pressure here, there is lower pressure here. Now let us look at the second situation. So in this situation the tail section remains in this zero angle situation so you can see it here the velocity is coming in front and this is the zero lift line here now the elevator section here goes through this angle delta subscript e so essentially that's the nomenclature we are using for the elevator deflection and so what's going to happen now is again there is a low pressure distribution here and there is a high pressure distribution here so this itself is an airfoil type of situation and so it acts as a airfoil section and therefore you get this differential pressure here and the net result is that there is going to be a hinge moment which acts in this manner so this is also hinge moment given by he so essentially there are two possible sources of the hinge moment he we saw one of the sources is the angle which the tail makes that is alpha t and the second source is the angle which the elevator makes which is delta e so with that knowledge we can write this functional relationship here that is the hinge moment h e is a function of alpha t and delta e now typically we deal with non-dimensional quantities so what we do is that we create this c h e which is a coefficient here for this moment and this would be h e divided by half rho infinity v infinity square into s e into c e so here s e and c e refer to the cross section of the elevator and the chord of that same wing section here so this essentially is going to give you a non-dimensional value and this is the elevator hinge moment coefficient so we are going to deal with this in the rest of this lecture so now immediately what we can do is that when we have a function of two variables here alpha t and delta e then I can write this in this form so essentially this is the chain rule I can write CHE as a derivative with respect to alpha t into alpha t and the second part is a derivative with respect to alpha e into alpha e so this is an important expression you need to remember so one more thing to keep in mind is that HE which deflects the elevator down is positive so 
that's the typical nomenclature or the rather the notation or the convention which is used here so now let us consider the condition which is the stick free condition and the stick free condition essentially means that the elevator is left to float for free so if you want to leave it free then essentially the hinge moment will become zero and the elevator is going to settle in space in some location where the hinge moment will be equal to zero so let's start with the actual formula we had for che in terms of alpha t and delta e and we are going to simply set this equal to zero here which i have shown in this yellow box and now because this is zero i put delta e equals to delta free so remember delta free is the angle which the elevator will make when the hinge moment is zero so that corresponds to the stick free condition so now from this equation for delta free we can easily solve this and we obtain this equation here which i have shown in this blue box now there's some insight you can get into this equation if we look at these two derivatives typically they may be obtained from internal tests but what happens is that they are typically negative so both the negatives will cancel out and the effect will be that if you have a positive alpha t you are going to get a negative delta free so which means that there is going to be an upward deflection as far as the elevator is concerned in the stick free condition so what this means pictorially is that if i have the tail section like this again tail section is at this angle alpha t with respect to the velocity v dash then the elevator is going to finally come to a situation like this here where the zero lift line makes this angle with the zero lift line of the tail and this angle is delta free so this delta free we obtained an expression for this in the previous slide so of course this case corresponds to the hinge moment being equal to zero you can intuitively understand that something like this is going to happen is that the elevator is going to come to an equilibrium location here such that the hinge moment is zero and also that this positive alpha t situation here is going to give you a negative delta free here so as you can see this is an upward deflection it's not going like this here it's going up with respect to the zero lift line of the tail so now let us think about the longitudinal static stability and let us try to bring in the stick free condition into it so recall from the last lecture on stick fixed stability we had obtained this equation here so this was clt is at into alpha t plus dclt by d delta e into delta e and in this case of course the pilot or the control system was giving the delta e value but now what has happened is that we are actually letting this delta e be free and therefore what we do is we put delta free here and we change this clt to clt dash so this is essentially the stick free value of clt which is going to come because the elevator is now free to do whatever it wishes it can hang around in space as it wants you're no longer using it to apply something here so from this equation in yellow for clt dash i can write this here by using the delta free we obtained in our previous couple of slides so you can go back and take a look at that so all i've done is substituted that equation for delta free here and now instead of carrying this huge equation with us we just rewrite this c dash lt as at into alpha t into f so we create a new variable f which would include this whole thing and do see here that there is an alpha t in both these situations so we bring out the alpha t here and we are going to divide this expression by at so then the f is going to work out so that's what is done here you can see that f is now given by this expression here and like i mentioned the at has come here so if you were to multiply this expression by f you are going to get the expression i showed previously now the advantage of putting this whole thing in the form of f is that if we were to calculate it for a typical section or a typical tail elevator combine we are going to get some value like f is 0.7 to 0.8 so the effect of the 
stick free condition is that this f value is reduced now remember when you have stick fixed condition f value is typically 1 so here it is being reduced to about 70 to 80 percent of whatever you have in the stick fixed condition so the tails contribution to the static stability reduces when you have stick free so this is a very important thing to keep in mind is that the freedom you are giving to the elevator comes at a price the price is in terms of the stability you are going to get from the tail it's going to get slightly turned down so let's again go to some of the expressions we had described for the entire wing body type of system so you remember the cmcg formula was given here the cmac wing body component the cl wing body component the h minus hac arm and then the tail contribution was vh into clt now what we do is that in the case of stick free we replace this clt by our clt dash and so we get the equation given in this blue box here so all that has happened is that the clt has been replaced by a t alpha t f so from this equation you will clearly see that because of the presence of f which is 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 the contribution which is coming from the tail has been reduced so the free elevator which you have typically decreases the static stability of the airplane so that's the basic thing we are going to get out of the stick free derivations today so let us summarize some of the things we learned today we saw that in stick free stability the elevator is permitted to float in space so that the hinge moment is zero and this typically results in an amelioration of the longitudinal static stability so that's going to be negatively impacted there is going to be a deleterious impact on it so stick fixed approach would typically be better it is preferred wherever possible so again stick free is only used in conditions where you have some issues in terms of the aircraft being old in terms of the hydraulic systems are not there and so on so you are actually taking records to stick free because you do not have the capacity to do the stick fix condition so do remember the formulas which we derived today they're very important cm dash cg which is the situation for stick free is given by this and so f is the culprit here it's 0.7 to 0.8 so it is bringing down your authority in terms of the static stability in the longitudinal direction so this was the lecture for today so i think we now know how important the horizontal tail and the elevator are in terms of longitudinal static stability these are very important concepts and next we are going to turn to directional stability where you are going to look at why the vertical tail is there and there is a corresponding control surface which is known as the rudder so that's very similar in theory at least conceptually to what the horizontal tail and elevator is doing and we are going to take a look at that in our next lecture so i'll see you then and i hope you enjoy these lectures and if you have any comment please leave them in the comment section below and i will try to answer those comments as soon as possible see you soon